freshly mopped cat pea zone. It smells like mushroom soup. I don't understand. It's disgusting. But it has been mopped. My parents are coming to get me on Friday. So I asked them to bring Lysol so that I can clean. And this mirror is disgusting too. I guess I should clean that as well. I'm hot. I'm hot from cleaning. Now I gotta do. I gotta put out the recycling and the fucking garbage. These dishes are disgusting too. I washed some today. I've been letting the pots pile up. The kitchen table needs to be cleaned, and I swear to God, there's a smell. <laughs> there's a smell. There's a smell coming <laughs> from the food cabinet. <laughs> I don't know why. Ugh. But anyway. Cleaning time is now or never because my parents are coming to get me on a Friday, so it's it's time. I don't want to come back to a nasty house. Ugh. I ate a mug pizza for dinner last night. I've got all this time. I've got all this. Oh my gosh, wrong way. I've got all this time to do things, and I've just been too freaked out by this entire situation. I'm like. I've got so many things to do. I could clean. I could make another YouTube video. There's a couple I have planned out. Been just sitting around for three weeks. Cause first week, off. Period. <laughs> Second week, my shoulder hurt a lot, and that sucked. And this week, I've just been playing Final Fantasy and like being sad, and it's just so ridiculous. It's like, <laughs> why am I just sitting around being sad when? Oh my god, there's Lysol in the fucking- There's Lysol in the closet! Is it- is there anything- Yes! It's full! The Lysol's full! Anyway... I've just- I've been doing nothing and feeling sad when I could have just been doing something and not feeling sad. So, now it's time to clean. I always feel better after my house is clean, and once it's clean. <laughs> I'll be in the frame of mind to make content. <laughs> uh, <the laughs> I've literally left this towel on the floor for two weeks because of Corona. It's time to do my laundry. I keep forgetting about my roommate's plants. I keep forgetting about her plants. This cat grass isn't gonna make it. <sighs> Drink up. Drink up. Ugh. Here you go, my dude. Have some sweet H2O. That's a cactus. I think you'll be okay. Almost forgot about these little guys. Here you go. I hope that's not too much. I don't know. I'm a bad plant mother. I do not keep plants. These are all my roommate's plants. She never asked me to water them. I think she forgot about them too. Jess, you're also a bad plant mother. I blame you. Just watching a news update. And I was going to apply for the CRV tomorrow. But I'm getting paid by my company till today. I'm lucky I've been getting paid for the last three weeks. But not this week and not the next week. Not till I go back to work after this. So I have to wait two weeks to be able to apply for this. I'm not going to get be be getting paid for two weeks and that really sucks like I can't just afford to take a two-week vacation this really sucks all right did more dishes just letting the rest of them soak I burned the muffins in here so that needs to soak I'm gonna make a smoothie now and I always like listening to Caro Caro Benito when I'm washing dishes Okay, smoothie time. This fruit has literally been in the fridge for so long, so sorry Jess, but I'm gonna eat it. I'd go and get my own fruit, but it's a bad idea right now, I think. I'll put in one of my apples to, oh, that apple's bad. This apple's fine. This apple's gonna go into the smoothie. And I think I'm gonna try this powder. What is this? 
mean, it's going, I don't know what it is. I'm going to put it in. And also, there's this. Is it still there? Yes. Maybe I'll put in the fruit powder instead. Oh, it's so hard now. Cantaloupe and mango. Mm, I'm going to put in both just for fun. I think I put in a little too much water, but what are you going to do? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, it's got fruit in it. <laughs> it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. I was waiting for the sun to come up so I could go for a walk. I stayed up all night. I'm gonna make myself stay up all day so I can get off this night out of owl schedule that I'm on because I don't really like it. Anyway, I've only been going for walks early in the morning and like right before the sun sets just because like last time I went on a walk um, like midday there were so many people out just because like this is a busy area of the city and like like, it's easy enough to like walk out onto the road to avoid people who are coming at you from like the front. But there were like so many, more than once, like a jogger would like sneak up behind me and then just pass me way too close. And that was like two weeks ago now. So I guess people might not have been taking it as seriously back then. But it was really disheartening even walking by the park and seeing people playing on the basketball court and playing baseball and stuff and people sitting at a bench and eating together. It's like they... Even three weeks ago there was local spreading in Toronto so I just don't really understand the mindset. So anyway, I've got my scarf on got my second one just in case <sighs> yeah I wasn't taking walks for a while because I didn't have a mask and I didn't think it was a good idea but my mom just said just wear your scarf that's what I do and I know that it probably won't really do much to protect me but at least if I have it it'll help me not spread it so much to other people but I still feel a little bit better having it on when other people aren't as into social distancing as I am. <laughs> I almost walked by it at first because it almost blended in with the other trash, but there is a glove. And right over here is another one. Ugh. Just don't understand people. Right before I got home, I passed a girl who was wearing a scarf like me, and she walked out onto the road so that we could pass at like a safe distance. I appreciate you scarf girl. You're the only other one. You're the only other one I've encountered so far. <laughs> everyone else, everyone else doesn't. All right, scarf's coming off. Uh, it's stuck in my hair. Oh, I can breathe again. Putting away the Lysol wipes. I got home, washed my hands. Lysol the camera that I had with me because I was pressing street buttons and stuff and then pressing the buttons on the camera. So, needed to clean the camera. So, wash my hands, clean the camera, wash my hands again. Now the Lysol wipes are going away. I'm obsessed with my Final Fantasy character. She's just so pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> Morning light is the prettiest.
I was only going to sleep for an hour, and now it's five hours later, and the sky is overcast, and I'm sad. I wanted to go and sit in the backyard when it was sunny. I should have gone out earlier. Mm. I started watching Beastars. It's really good. I love it when it rains so hard that you can't even see the CN Tower. It should be over there, but it's gone. I was hungry and I couldn't sleep, so I'm having midnight breakfast instead. And I now have no more milk. I used the last of it on that tea, and I'm not going to the store to get more. <laughs> The last of my instant noodles. The last of my noodles. After this, there will be no more noodles. Ugh. No more noodles. No more noodles after this. First time I've been outside since I took my walk on Monday. I kept putting it off and I kept not being able to sleep at night. On Monday, I took a five hour nap and then that night I actually slept a little bit. And that day, on Tuesday, I was able to stay up all day. But then Tuesday night, I couldn't sleep at all. And then I ended up sleeping all Wednesday and woke up at night and I've been up since then. It's like close to three o'clock on Thursday now. So like at least I'm up and I don't really feel tired. Probably just cause I drank two cups of club soda and a cup of coffee in the morning. And now I'm gonna have tea, but this is red tea. So I don't think it really has caffeine in it. Anyway, uh, I've got tired brain. Getting all the other things I was gonna say. Yeah, um, usually on like a normal day I have trouble going outside. It's weird like leaving my little bubble, like my house. It's kind of like a prison. I always like need to force myself to go outside and like, um, it's just so like once I get out here it's so nice and it's like it was so easy the entire time to just leave the house and it's so much better being out here and it's just weird that I can't m make it a habit. I was doing really well before all of this happened. It's been about four weeks since um, work sent me home and um, so I've been like self-isolating for four weeks but even before that I had been going to the library every day for like 40 days straight and writing for an hour. And even the week before um, they sent me home from work, I stopped going to the library because it's just a bad idea. So it's been about five weeks and I've written absolutely nothing since then because I just can't concentrate in my own space. I need to go somewhere else. I, I love going to the library. I, I feel so much more creative there and I'm surrounded by other people who are studying and stuff and who are also there for knowledge or to improve themselves and I haven't felt that way since I went to Seneca and I was in Art Fundamentals and I was surrounded by other artists all the time and it was just so nice to be around people who had like the same energy as I did if, if that makes any sense but yeah I just have to keep reminding myself to get out of my own head. I saw that the sun came out so I made myself take a shower so that I could come out here and videotape myself without looking skanky. Um, uh, what else was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, update on my life. So. I'm going home tomorrow to see my parents. I'm probably gonna stay there for the rest of this entire situation. I am looking forward to being able to take walks in the woods and going for walks with my sister and 
just enjoying the big backyard that they have. I didn't want to go home at first just because I work in a busy area of the city and I came into contact with so many people during the day and I just didn't, I didn't want to go home because I was scared that I could pass it on to someone there. But it's been like four weeks now of just staying at home. The only time I've left is to go for three walks and I've done three grocery trips. So one walk a week and one grocery trip a week. The last time I went to the grocery store now was last Wednesday, so like a week and two days. Yeah, that's the only way I can justify it to myself going back home is the fact that I've been really, really careful. I just realized I keep touching my face and I was just touching this table. Ugh, I'm gonna wash my hands and my face when I get back inside. It's so hard to remember sometimes. But yeah. The nice thing at least is that I'm trying to like get myself to do things I've been recording so I've at least made a vlog. <laughs> Might not be a very good one but I made some kind of content. I really hope that this like lack of being tired lasts all day because there's like a nightmares video that I've been meaning to make for a long time. I really wanted to make it this week, but I've just like, between like the lack of sleep, I just haven't had the energy to do anything. I still needed to finish cleaning my house. I've got like little things done every day, so at least there's some progress. Um, but yeah, just, you know, I'm sure you know, everyone's going through the same thing right now. I'm not sure what else to talk about except for the fact that it's nice and warm out. It's the first day that I've worn my spring jacket instead of my winter jacket. Looking at my garden right now, it's full of leaves. It's nice to see life coming up. There's one flower that hasn't blossomed yet. Yeah. Anyway. I guess that's it for now. Making a microwave cookie. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like a cookie. The top, the more like wet part tastes more like egg. I wonder what more middle section would taste like. It tastes more like a chocolate chip pancake, actually. I wasn't recording. I'm making actual food. I put some onion up, got the pasta over there, and the sauce over here. I really I don't feel like cutting garlic, and also I think it probably already went bad, so just onion today. Just onion. It's getting a little burnt. The little pieces, just waiting for the big ones to get a little bit more brown and then we're going to put the sauce in. My mom sent me to be the tube. <laughs> this was my favorite when I was a kid. This pile is all the stuff that I'm going to take to my parents' house. Got all my clothes in the hamper. I've got like Ghibli DVDs and an anatomy book and my sketchbook in there. Got my tripod, my camera, so I can do vloggy things. I've got some shoes in here. And then I have um, my drawing and um, writing stuff in here. Mm, two books, two graphic novels, a bunch of random washroom stuff in here. A bag for my camera and like wires and stuff and makeup. <sighs> jacket and my winter jacket and my hat. don't know how cold it's going to be. I need to pack this onion. I don't want it to go to waste. And the eggs in the fridge. Those are the only two things I think that will go bad. Oh, oranges. I wonder if that orange is still good. I think it's probably still good. And these bagels. It's a good thing I recorded this video because I wouldn't have looked for them otherwise. 